first rhythm I ever learned how to play on a hand drum was in 6-8. Uh, it wasn't only just a groove to play, but it was used to teach my hands how to strike this instrument and exercise a technique that I wasn't familiar with at the time. I'm going to show you that rhythm and the technique that goes along with it. Now let's take a look at how to hold the drum. For this rhythm, what I'd like you to do is place the drum on your knee or just behind the knee. And then the left hand will be resting on the top of the drum. The edge of the hand will be resting on the shell where the fourth finger will be across the rim of the drum. So it should look like this. This position also in line with your knee will give you an axis on which you can balance and stabilize the drum. You want to avoid rolling the drum away from you or toward you. You want to really keep it in a straight line from top to bottom. You can keep your elbow up in the back. Try not to allow it to sag much so that you can have more control and stability while holding the drum. Uh, the right hand is going to uh, lay flush across the front of the head and you want to think about having a straight arm from the elbow to your fingertips. So the drum is going to be angled just slightly. You don't want it to be too far forward and you don't want it to be too far back. You want it just to have enough of an angle so that your hand can naturally be placed over the front of the drum. In this way you'll have a straight arm and you can rotate more successfully and have better control of sound and of the stroke. In the right hand we'll use what's called the split finger technique. The hand is separated into three parts, the thumb, the first finger, and middle, ring, and pinky act as one. Sometimes the thumb can be connected to the first finger but we'll need the thumb to play the 6-8 rhythm, so I want you to hold your hand in this position. From this position, you're going to lay the hand across the drum and allow these three parts to be in sync with the rotation of the arm and the wrist and the fingers. So this is the action. This is what it's going to look like. There are essentially four strokes you'll need to play this rhythm. The thumb stroke, the up stroke, the down stroke, and the left hand stroke. The thumb stroke is using the weight of the hand, really the weight of the thumb, in order to rotate and strike the drum to create a bass tone. Now you're going to be striking the drum from the edge of your thumb, the tip of your thumb, down to the base of your thumb. So there's quite a bit of area that you're going to use to create that tone. That looks like this. Notice that I'm playing inside the drum and not toward the rim and not toward the dead center, but it's somewhere in between. Listen to the sound as I go from the edge to the center, how it changes the quality. You can hear that the best quality sound or the most resonant sound is happening right at about this area. So that's where your downstroke is going to be with the thumb. The next stroke is the upstroke and that would include these three fingers, the ring, the middle ring and pinky fingers. And once you play the thumb or the downstroke with the thumb, it puts you in position to rotate the hand back up. And we can take advantage of that position by using the three fingers in the split finger technique to play an upstroke.
The next stroke, being in this position, you can also take advantage of being in this uh, uh, rotation away from you as a preparation for the next downstroke. That downstroke can be played with the first finger. It can also be played with the thumb, but to demonstrate the third stroke, we would use the first finger, and it would look like this. And the fourth stroke can be played a couple of different ways. You can use the fourth finger of the left hand across the rim and just lightly tap the, the rim of the drum. Or you can use uh, the thumb to help snap the edge of the drum. And those are the four strokes. To play this rhythm, I always have my students recite the strokes in the order that they're going to occur in this rhythm. So the 6-8 rhythm is going to use all four of these strokes, and I can do the left hand variation a couple of times as well. So I can show you how this rhythm sounds uh, using just the light tap and also the snapping across the, the rim. But simply, this rhythm, verbally spoken, sounds like this. Thumb, left, three, one, left, three. Thumb, left, three, one, left, three. Now when I say those rhythms, I'm actually reciting to you the hands, the, the uh, strokes that I'm going to be using while I play this rhythm. Thumb, left, three, one, left, three. Thumb, left, three, one, left, three, thumb. Sounds like this. A little faster. And a little faster. This is what it sounds like with the snap stroke. A little faster. and a little faster. So I would suggest practicing this rhythm at a slow tempo and then gradually speeding up and slowing down. It's a good way to learn how to build up control and speed. So instead of uh, doing it in steps the way that I just demonstrated, try going from slow to fast to slow. Work within your limitations and don't go beyond your ability to control the rhythm. So that'll look like this.
Let me know how you made out in the comments below uh, and let me know if you enjoyed the content of this video. By all means, hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for future updates. Make sure you ring the bell. And thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.